Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to be showcasing the latest and greatest in row cards. Uh, I'm trying something new where I commentate over these update videos just so that I can explain some of what's new. Um, so bear with me. <laughs> um, so to start, you might notice that there's a new HUD. So we have the engine bar in the bottom left. This is showing how fast your engine is. And that that is influenced by oh, things like being on off-road. You can see that it's capped to like less than half of the value. Or if you're driving up against the wall, this doesn't actually work yet, but when you're up against the wall, it should be like lowering your engine as well. And then on top of the engine bar, you see these three slots. Basically, that's just saying if you're holding forward, neutral, or reverse. And on mobile, this is going to be where you control your engine power. So if you just tap one of these three squares, and then it sets your engine status. Below it, you can see I have my lap counter and the coins, which are obviously indicating those two values right now i'm on lap one but you'll see that it does actually count up to lap two so that does work in the top corner we have the placement this actually does work but since i'm the only person oh i'm actually not the only person in the server at the moment but yeah so you can see we have a guest right here. Um, yeah, but it's not going to... Actually, it's it shouldn't have, but it's bugged out, so... Yeah, and now you can see I'm on lap 2. Um, what else? Oh yeah, respawning. Respawning works now. So that's really cool. And you can really see that the wheels, they, they like to bounce a lot. It's very springy, which is great because it kind of has that double dash type vibe, which is something that I wanted. And so the physics aren't even close to being final and it's actually quite a lot of stuff that I need to smooth out. Like for example, when you're doing a turn or a spot turn, you have this weird jerkiness I don't know if you can really get a sense for it, but it, it just bothers me how like it does this like a, sort of a wave when you're like going from forward to reverse. Yeah, things like that. It's very minor, but and then if I wanted to start drifting, the drift itself isn't working. You can see that the wheels have these crazy particles. That's just because I haven't coded it, but. Yeah, so the drift, you don't get any mini turbo just yet, but that'll be coming maybe tomorrow, the day after. And also the hop itself, when you're in midair, you have absolutely no control over your vehicle. So I'm gonna change that so you can sort of turn and that will really help you lead into drifts because the drift itself is actually very, very aggressive in this version. I might tone it down, but you can see that it sends you shooting all the way to the side, which is really useful in the competitive scene where like, if you want to dodge um, projectiles or other players, or maybe you have someone racing to your side and you want to bump them really far, you could just sort of, whoops, you can Oh, that was bad, but you can just knock them. You know, I, I suck at this, but <laughs> I'm sure someone will get good at it eventually, which is the whole idea behind this. And you can see that if I try to start drifting here, it's going to send me on an outward curve and I'll end up going really wide. So what you want to do is, oops, you want to start turning before you begin to drift. Okay, that was a terrible demonstration. Okay. Um, yeah, so you want to lead into your drift by turning 
in the direction you're going to drift first. So observe here. Okay, that was... Yeah, so you see how I went wide on this turn? I'm going to try to go sharp on this one. There we go. And I'll try again here. So you see how I got this really tight line? That was because I was facing into the turn before I began my drift. Same thing here. So there's actually quite a bit of nuance to the controls already, which is great, but it still has some work to be done on it. Um, on a technical side, um, the two main things that have changed is one, the, the spring physics, which is how these wheels behave. That, it used to be very, very choppy and not good at all, <laughs> but now it's quite good. So that took a lot of um, math, but now it's working. It's going to get better still, I think. The way it responds when you're falling at an angle right now, it's not really super natural. So I'm going to try to make that nice. And the other thing is um, there's this thing called server authority, which is a, a technical term that games use. Well, not all games, but some games use it, where it's basically a way of preventing cheaters from cheating at all. Like it becomes completely impossible to cheat. And the way that works is um, basically your computer um, is uh, doing all the calculations for figuring out where your cart is going. But I also record all of your inputs, like if you're holding forward or you're turning, I send it over to a server in the cloud, or the Roblox server. And the Roblox server does the exact same um, computations on the same information. And then, so the server spits out a position of where it thinks you are. And that's compared to the position that your computer says you are, because remember there's two different simulations happening and the server gets to decide where you actually are. And so that's used if you're crossing a lap, the server is what decides not you. If you fall through an out of bounds trigger, then the server decides again, not you. And then, but if the server is deciding all of this stuff, your client also, or sorry, your computer also needs to see the same information. So basically the server sends back information saying, Hey, you're over here at this point in time. And the server says, okay, let me adjust myself slightly to make sure I'm lined up perfectly. And so that's how it works. And it's actually quite, it's simple in concept, but very difficult to implement in practice because uh, a lot of different factors like latency will make it really unplayable. But right now, um, this is probably ideal situation, like 80 milliseconds ping. And it's perfectly smooth. I can barely tell that anything is happening. Actually, I don't think I can tell at all. It's basically the same as if there was nothing going on, which is really good. And then if you're playing on a server that's like not close to you. So if you're in, if you're in the East coast and you're playing on a server in the West coast, you might have like 200 milliseconds ping. And I've tested on that situation too. And it's actually pretty good. It's like slightly more delay in your inputs, but it's still playable, which is good. But if you're playing on a server in Asia from an American from American geographic location, then you're going to have a bad time. But that shouldn't happen. So Yep. And that's really about it. I'm <laughs> just enjoying driving around. It's actually quite fun already. 
for me at least. <laughs> you can see that I'm already on the eighth lap. <laughs> um, there's no, there's not gonna be eight lap races normally, unless unless we make a baby park clone, which might have eight laps. Okay, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, this is my first time doing this kind of commentary, so I'm really sorry if this was very boring to listen to. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hopefully do this more often and start to get good at it. And hopefully I'll start editing these videos too, so that um, it's more professional. Right now I don't really have the time or energy to edit these types of things but yeah anyways i'll see you guys in the next update bye bye